artist and I feel I've been popping around from town hall to town hall and I just really feel like you're a really genuine person. So I want to thank, well, you, thank for you for that. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yes. Yeah. Really, like, Seven gifts keep you honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Governor Romney, on the other hand, I've had a really hard time with. He's you know dodged questions, has been ignoring people, and I just I have just haven't been really feeling that. We well, know it's everybody's allowed in. People who <laughs> agree with me and don't agree with me. Uh, I, I really, and I'm sure I'll get some people who don't agree with me. You know what? If you're running for president, you're running for president, and, and, and you're accountable to all Americans, not just the folks who support you. And I understand they try to uh, micromanage these events to make sure that just friends and supporters ask really nice questions. But I'm, I'm, I'm interviewing, if you will, for president of the United States in a general election. I'm not just trying to interview to try to win a primary. I want folks here to know that I'm capable of dealing with all of the issues, with protesters screaming in my ear, uh, because that's the American experience. That's what democracy is all about, and uh, that's why I believe that people say, why did you come to New Hampshire? Because you guys do it right here, and, and you deserve to see all the presidential candidates. You need to come up here, and you need to face the people of New Hampshire and, uh, and, and, and directly answer their questions. And from, from here to uh, the events we've done in, 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 in Hollis and in, in Northfield and some other places, we've taken every question we could until we ran out of time. <laughs> and, uh, and we didn't pick and choose you know, our friends. We picked everybody. And I'm not even picking anybody, because Paul's going to pick the folks. <laughs> so, so, so my question Your question. Then, um, well, I, you, just, you teed up an, an easy one for me. <laughs> <laughs> you deserved it. Um, so I, I asked you a few days ago if uh, I'm a marijuana user and if yeah. I should be, uh, be incarcerated and arrested for that. And you said that it's up to my state's uh, state laws. I just wanted to verify that you are, in fact, in support of states figuring out their own drug policies. Well, you know, obviously state drug laws are the principal drug laws. Uh, I, I do have concerns uh, about, uh, obviously, drug use and, and its impact on our society. And, and so I would say that the federal government uh, does have a role in, in making sure that, that drug use, uh, that, that states don't go out and legalize drugs, that there are, there are drugs that are hazardous to people, that do cause great harm to both to the individual as well as to society as a whole, and the federal government has a role in making sure that those drugs are not in this country and not available, and that, that people uh, you know, who, who use them illegally uh, are, are held accountable. I, I, Ideally, uh, states should enforce these laws, but the federal government has a role because it is a, a public health issue for the country. Yeah.